Now, we, today, we shall do the ugly duckling thing. The ugly duckling. Once there was a proud and happy duck. I have seven beautiful legs and soon I'll have seven beautiful ducklings, she told her friend on the riverbank. A while later, she heard a crack. One beautiful duckling popped her little head out of the shell, and then another, and another, until she had six beautiful little ducklings, trying their fluffy yellow wings and swimming air. Just one egg left, quacked Mother Duck, and it's a big one. For a while, nothing happens. happened. And at last, the big egg began to hatch. Tap, 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 out came a beak. Quack, 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 out popped the head. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Out came the last duckling. Oh my! That mother thought. Isn't he different? The last little duckling did look strange. He was bigger than the other ducklings and he didn't have such yellow, lovely yellow feathers. That's okay, said mother duck. You may look different, but you're special to me. And mother duck took her little duckling's position. Each one landed in the river with a little duck, but the ugly duck, but the ugly duckling fell over his big feet and landed in the water with a big splash. The other duckling laughed at the clumsy brother. Push me a little trick, said Mother Duck. Stick together and stay behind me. Back in the nest, the duckling practiced the quacking. Quack, 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 said the duckling, beating up after Mother Duck. Honk, honk, called the ugly duckling. The other duckling all quacked with laughter. The ugly duckling hung in his head in shame. I'll never fit in, he thought sadly. The next day, Mother Duck took her little ones out for another swim. The little, the little duckling stayed close to her while the old Ugly duckling swam alone. What kind of bird are you? asked some geese who had landed on the river nearby. I'm a duckling, he replied. My family has left me all alone. The geese felt sorry for the ugly duckling and asked him to go with them. But the ugly duckling was too afraid to leave his river, so he stayed put. When Mother Duck wasn't looking, the other ducklings teased their ugly brother. Look at his dull grey feathers said one of his sisters unkindly, admiring her own reflection in the water. Mine are so much prettier. The ugly duckling swam away and looked at his reflection. I don't look the same as them, he thought, sadly. So he swam down the river and didn't stop until he reached a place he'd never seen before. I'll see here, he decided. Summer turned to autumn. The sky became cloudy and the river murky. So the ugly ugly duckling swam alone in a quiet part of the river. Snow fell heavily that winter and the ugly duckling was cold and lonely. The river was frozen solid. At least I can't see my ugly reflection anymore, he thought. Spring arrived and at last the ice stood. Some magnificent white ducks arrived on the river and swam towards the ugly duckling. You're very big ducks, he said nervously. We're not ducks. Laughed the elegant creatures. Which one? Just a cute. Puzzled, the ugly duckling looked at his reflection in the river and was surprised to see beautiful white feathers and an elegant long neck. Is that me? he asked. Of course, he told them. You are a truly handsome swan. The handsome young swan joined his new friend and glided gracefully back up the river with them. When he swam past the family of ducks, Mother Duck recognized her ugly duckling straight away. I always knew he was special, she said, and the beautiful young swan, swan swam down the river proudly, ruffling his spectacular white feathers and holding his ele- elegant head high. That's it for now.